It would be such an insult to the integrity of the Almighty that he started a job and could not finish it. So be rest assured knowing that what God has started in your life, he would complete it. What gives us this assurance that he would finish what he has started in our lives? First, we have his promise in the scriptures that he would never leave or forsake us. He will be with us through whatever we go through and like the loving shepherd that he is, guide and lead us to our destination. He would not leave you halfway through and abandon you. No, he is not a man that he should lie or a son of a man that he should change his mind. So you can trust that whatever he is doing in your life will be completed. Besides, he has the power to fulfill it. In counting the cost to complete any project that he had begun in your life, there's nothing too hard for him to do. Nothing that is not within his resources and power to achieve. He is the one that created the heavens and the earth within six days. He planned the creation of man and saw it to completion. So your case is not too difficult for him to solve and complete. Just hold to his words and his promises. According to his scriptures in Hebrews 6 verse 18. This was so that by two unchangeable things, his promise and his oath in which it is impossible for God ever to prove false or deceive us. We who have fled to him for refuge might have mighty indwelling strength and strong encouragement to grasp and hold fast the hope appointed for us and set before us. It is impossible for God to lie and to fail. His faithfulness is assured and his promises are real. If you do not see things changing in your life, just hold on. God cannot prove to be false and this is the hope that we have that he will fulfill everything he has promised concerning our lives, family and everything about us. Perfection has been promised to us, not only in his world, but in that to come. So hold on. Your life is a work in progress and God is not through with you at all. He is forming and molding your life into something glorious. Just like the scripture has said, your latter end will be far greater than the former. Now the process might be tedious, and it may take a while, but you can be sure that the end will be worth it. The greater the project, the more time and effort that would be put into it. The time you spend in building a bungalow is not the same time you spend in building a skyscraper. God is building something beautiful out of your life. He is making you a wonder and a marvel in the earth. But you might not see it now. It might look as though it is taking long, but remember that God is never slack concerning his promises. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 says the Lord does not delay and is not tardy or slow about what he promises, according to some people's conception of slowness. But he is a long-suffering, extraordinarily patient toward you, not desiring that any should perish, but that all should turn to repentance. Do not be bothered about whether it will come to pass or not, because it will surely happen, even if it seems delayed. The problem you are going through right now and the struggles that you are facing are all a part of the plan to bring that work to completion in your life. He is working both in you and on you to see that every good work in your life is completed. So hold on. God will not start something and not finish it. Your faith needs to be at work to see God working in your life. 
You must not become weary or tired because of the issues you are facing now. Hold on to God's promises because He does not fail. Even if circumstances around say otherwise, keep claiming God's promises over your life. If He has started in a relationship with you, He will see you through to the stage of marriage and even help you build your family. If you have started any project and it seems resources are not forthcoming, do not confess negative things. Keep declaring that God will complete what He has started. This is the more reason you should carry God along in everything you do. Do not just take decisions without involving Him or seeking His approval. When you make God the foundation, you can stay calm and relaxed, knowing that every other thing will fall in place with time. Let Him in on everything from the beginning and He will be there during the process and see it to the end. God will use anything and everything to see that His work in your life is completed. Remember that you are God's masterpiece. He created you wonderfully and fearfully. He has plans for your life and has worked out all the details. In bringing His plans to fulfillment, He will work through different means. He will take away some things from your life, introduce new things. He will bring some people across your path and make every resource available. All you have to do is go with the plan. Remain aligned to God's Spirit and let Him guide every decision that you make. He is watching over you to keep you in line and see that every step that you take brings you to perfection. All things will work out for your good and your perfection, even the bad and painful things that you are going through. The process of making is not always easy. Gold has to pass through fire before it comes out shining. Whatever you are going through now, do not feel abandoned or discouraged. Do not think God has forgotten you. Every good work He has started in your life will be completed. Do not give up on God because He will not give up on you. The plans that He has for you are far beyond what you can ever think or imagine. When you look back at how far He has taken you, you will be surprised. You may not look at now, but you are a treasure, a golden vessel, a masterpiece that God is working on to present to the whole world when the time is right. When doubts arise, just keep reminding yourself that God will never leave or forsake you. He is right there with you, working on you. He already has a picture of what He wants to make of you and carefully and gradually, but most assuredly, He is making each stroke, drawing those lines to make a masterpiece out of you. The trials and persecution you face notwithstanding, hold on to God's word and become persuaded in your heart and mind. Let it be obvious in your conversations as well. As Paul said in Philippians 1 verse 6, And I am convinced and sure of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will continue until the day of Jesus Christ, right up to the time of his return, developing that good work and perfecting and bringing it to full completion in you. You also need to become confident and convinced that God will complete what He has started in your life. Your case will not be an abandoned project. Your job, family, ministry and life in general is being worked on and you will see it perfected very soon. You are not alone and you have not been forgotten. You will begin to experience progress in every walk of your life, be it spiritually, financially, academically and in your relationships. 
just remain expectant and hold on.